What's up guys, it's me Kareem and this is Are We Cuckoo Now with another fan video response. Let's get it started and let's not waste any time. Hi Kareem, my name is Hi. Lena and um, Lena, before right? we start the questions I want to apologize for the weird like choppy sentences or uh, keep glancing and stuff. Don't worry about it girl, it's all good. We were talking to my phone. I know how it is. I just want to um, apologize for the angle of this video because I'm on my phone, that's all I got and I just like, I really have to... <laughs> it's okay, don't worry because about it. I want it's fine. It's really badly. So if these <laughs> questions get too personal, by the way, and um, not, nah, don't worry about it. Really bad, but oh well, right? Um. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's gonna kill me, but it's all right. I also want to thank you for being who you are. I honestly admire you and look up to you as a person. Um, thank I found you. your YouTube channel pretty cool. I love watching your vlog because I like um seeing who you are. Cool. And um, I also enjoy your social experiments because it kind of like, I kind of like get to know um, how the world views a certain thing or whatever. I also love you sharing your opinions on Islam even. Um, I appreciate that. Thank you. I love the fact that you just, I just really enjoy your YouTube videos and I enjoy you, like I enjoy watching you and I really like um, and admire like you. Thank I really you. like um. Well, yeah. You're making okay, me blush. Please. Okay, let's start the questions. Ugh. Ah! Sorry. Okay. I'm just kind of nervous. It's just weird. Um, and then I also wanted to say, uh, don't let the haters get to you. I won't. Believe me, I, I won't. I don't. One day you become really, really, really huge. Um, you deserve like two million subscribers, honestly, because you're just. <laughs> your youtube channel your goal and stuff it's really cool and uh, the message that you sent through is amazing and i love when i love when you share your opinions and beliefs with other muslims because i find them really cool i like the fact that you have to have an understanding and logic behind a certain rule or something and um i kind of go that way as well thank you on with the questions yeah. this one's kind of personal but i wanted to ask you if um you say that you want a love story before marriage you want to fall in love i think I think everyone wants to do that, like I myself do, but, um, um, if you didn't, if you reach, like, the age 35 or 40, but 40 or something, and you haven't fell in love, would you go the arranged marriage route, um, or would you just, no, there's no way you're gonna get married, you have to fall in love, it's just, I just wanted to know, like, how far would I want to fall in love go? Your like spectrum of I'm so sorry, the phone is just so shaky. Pain really hurts, but it's okay. That's a really, really good question. To be honest with you, um, you know, let's hope it, I don't reach that age and I'm not married yet because that would suck. Uh, but, you know, I don't mind it. If, if, if force comes to worse and I have to arrange marriage, let's do it. I don't care. I'll force myself to fall in love with her. But I still believe that, you know, you can fall in love and uh, you can build a love story before marriage, I think it would be a lot more special. You know, a lot of these arranged marriages don't always go as planned, you know, but, you know, that's why, you know, if, you know, I, would, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't force it. I wouldn't force it, to be honest with you. I still feel like if you're 40, 45, you still could fall in love. There's people who fall in love at age 80 and then get married. You know, it's, it's possible. It doesn't, it doesn't matter what age you are. Love is still young, youthful, and bright with whatever age you are. So as long as you find that person that you truly love, and then I think it would be a beautiful thing to get married to them. But if I don't find that person uh, that I love or I, or I don't get married, um, that would suck. It will be, be really depressing. It will be upsetting. But it's, um, I will probably just arra <laughs> arrange marriage so I could just have kids, but then start trying to find a woman to love. Okay, that sounds really bad, but yeah, um, I, I really wa wouldn't want to go the arranged uh, route. But if, uh, to be honest with you, if she loves me, then I'm willing to marry her, and then I know that I would start building love for her. It's just as simple as that. Because I'm a very loving guy. When a girl loves me, I start building love. And to be honest with you, I love more than anyone can love. And it's kind of a sad thing, you know. I gotta be a man. I, I gotta be a man. Men only give a certain amount of love. They don't give too much love, you know what I mean? And I have to do that. <laughs> Sorry for the shakiness, the quality, and the blurriness. Don't worry about it, it's all good. And the angle. Um, my uh, second question is, um, 
What is your opinion on falling in love and getting married to a non-Muslim? Like, I know it's much more easier for a guy. Like, for a girl, he has to be convert something. Convert. But I just was wondering, I know that you said the first girlfriend you ever had or the first person you ever fall in love, fell in love with was a non-Muslim, I believe. Mm. So I was just, like, wondering, um, do you, like, care? To be honest with you, I don't care. Um, I know that, you know... As long as they're the religion of the book, you know, it's fine. But at the same time, to me, it, I don't think, you know, a person's religion will play a factor in whether I should marry them or not. Depending on how religious they are, if, you know, like sometimes they won't marry a, a Muslim, you know, then I, I don't want that. But if she's accepting of me being a Muslim, then I accept of her whatever she is. Um, now, when it comes to the kids, we're going to have to decide something because we can't have them following too many things at once. You know, I'll be honest, I would like them to be Muslims because that's my duty. And um, I think if she loves me, she'll understand. And uh, to be honest with you, it's kind of tough when you put somebody in a in a situation where they have to convert. You know, like let's for, let's not forget. You know, they were born into this, and if you're born into something, you can't imagine yourself converting, right? So it takes a lot for someone to convert. Whether they convert or not, they should be respected for whatever decision they make, as long as they respect you. You know, I don't know if that question makes sense, but yeah. Question number three is, um, <clears throat> um, are you, okay, are you like a feminist? Like, not those radical feminists, but are you a person who supports, like, equal pay for women who, um, especially in Islam, where people think that it's Islam who, um, reduces a woman's power, which really it's culture, but, like, what do you think of that? What do you think of women in Islam in general, or women that are out of culture? Because, you know, like, if we do something it's so horrible like it will potentially ruin our whole family's reputation but if it's done in like with a guy it's it's not the end of the world well my my point of view on this is very simple and it's very common i think that a woman and guy should have both equal statuses whatever it is across the board because a lot of us guys can't be where we're at today if it weren't for women you know, but I'm not a feminist, and I, I, I mean, uh, t you know, I, I don't have anything against feminists out there. I know you guys are doing your thing and whatever it is, and you've had your own experiences. But I like to be in a neutral position because at the same time, you know, a lot of people, you know, I, I don't want to base everything based on what happens in my life. You know, I can't be like, oh, you know, I'm a guy and I've experienced that guys, you know, do a lot more than women or whatever it is. No, I feel like from looking at it from outside the box and in, in just a logical way, we're both human beings, right? You need both of us to create life. Without us, you know, nothing will really happen in this world and we would not procreate and we would be over. So I think a woman deserves just as much as a man, if not more, because they are mothers and they have to go through labor. So that's a lot of pain, guys. You know, imagine trying to push a football through your, you know, and that, that definitely um, will give you, yeah, it will make you give a standing ovation to women that they could deal with so much strength, right? I know a lot of people say that Islam, you know, puts women down and oppresses them or whatever it is, but believe it or not, Islam actually gave women rights. Uh, Islam is not the, the religion that gives these women no rights or whatever it is. It's actually culture. Uh, the culture where they're from is what pushes them to be something that they can't, like in Saudi Arabia, they can't drive, in Iran, they can't wear short sleeves, and all this thing. I understand that honestly is wrong you know a woman could do whatever she wants to do boy that's how it is and you know just like we you know sin and make mistakes and we don't follow everything in Islam to the T you know they can also make mistakes too we can't make that decision for them we can't be like no you have to do this because that's the way it's supposed to be I think that's wrong I just want you to think about that you know for kids who only have their mothers in their life their mother is going to be their everything and their mother should be able to have the freedom to do whatever it is. If she needs to drive, she could drive. Um, and my, I think we're at a fourth question. I really hope you get to answer these. I'm sorry if they're personal. They're Don't weird, worry about it. Silly no. or crazy. That's yeah. the challenge. That's the challenge. I just want to know them. That's the challenge. Um, the fourth question is, do you like Taylor Swift? <laughs> this guy <laughs> weird. Okay, Taylor Swift. Um, I don't know her. I mean, I know her, but I don't know her personally. I can't say I don't like her because I don't know her enough. By the same time, I don't listen to her music. So, I mean, if that answers your question, she's okay, I guess. I don't, I don't know. Um, and my, I think we're at a fourth question. 
I really hope you get to answer these. I'm sorry if they're personal. They're don't weird, worry about silly no. or crazy. But That's yeah. the challenge. That's the challenge. I just want to know them? That's the challenge. Um, the fourth question is, do you like Taylor Swift? <laughs> this guy <laughs> weird. Okay, Taylor Swift. Um, I don't know her. Uh, I mean, I know her, but I don't know her personally. I can't say I don't like her because I don't know her enough. But at the same time, I don't listen to her music. So, I mean, if that answers your question, she's okay, I guess. I don't, I don't know. I'm just a huge fan of hers. And I was just wondering, um, you know, you really don't have a say on her. You never talked about her. I was just wondering, you know, do you like her and stuff? And you should really check her out if you don't, um, if you're not like... Well, I do like her. She's very pretty. She's and, you know, I hear she, she's, like, she's very talented, music, you know? It's just, I'm not really into like her. country music. Uh, number five. Um, let me see. Hmm. Hmm. You know what? I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna have a question for. I really don't have a fifth question, but I just wanted to say that. Um, again, I'm a huge fan of yours. I Thank really, you. really, truly enjoy watching your videos. I think your channel is super cool. The message that you want to send, to send like through is super cool as well. I really hope that you come to Detroit, because if you have, I think I missed it i'm still young and i just <laughs> wasn't really in the youtube thing it's okay parents and stuff whatever but um if you go to detroit i mean i really hope you can come to detroit and have like this meet and greet and stuff that'd be super cool and yeah thanks for answering these questions i love you love i love 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 of you um you're I love amazing you, too. <laughs> you have a really cool personality you're so chill and i just find it so nice, and I wish every guy can be like you. Aw, come Thank on. Thank you so much Stop for it. watching and answering this question. Bye. Bye. Um, thank you so much for the questions. You're absolutely amazing. Uh, I know I keep saying this, but believe it or not, you know, behind the scenes, I'm busting my ass. So um, Detroit is actually in one of the places that I might go to soon. Um, we're in talks right now for a fundraiser over there, so I might go there. It's not official, and it's not confirmed yet, but... I just want you to say inshallah and pray for me and it might happen. So uh, that's all I got to say. Thank you so much for these questions. You're absolutely amazing. You're sweet. Thank you, Lena. I hope I said your name right. And if you guys want to send in your own five questions, remember you could send it to bookawfn at hotmail.com. You could send it through a file in an email or you could upload it on YouTube as an unlisted link and send me that link where I can download it and you could be right there. Yes, you can be right there with me while I'm answering your questions. All right. And remember, guys, don't apologize about the questions because you have to understand this is also a challenge. You ask any five questions you want, and I have to answer it no matter what. As long as you keep it G-rated and you don't, you know, do anything or ask anything a little too... You get my point. I'll see you guys later. Peace, love, and unity. And until next time, see you the... Later!